I'm looking for some of the highest quality rental real estate that we've got here in the Cleveland market. Tim from Palm Beach, Florida, this is your video. Let's dive in. The price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holden Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. All right, what's going on, real estate investors? Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. As always, I am your host, James Wise. I got my guy Tommy behind the scenes, capturing everything, hitting us with the IT skills. Uh, today's show, I hope everyone's having a good day. I'm having a, I'm having a pretty solid day, as you see. Got myself my new studio, so if you guys are... Uh, just tuning in, you haven't watched an episode in a while, you'll see we got a much different look. We're still uh, working out some kinks. Tommy's working out some of the IT. Uh, got some wires and stuff hanging around, but, uh, you know, keep watching as the shows go. You'll see that this studio is going to get filled out, and it's going to be even better. Uh, you know, the the more you guys are interacting with the videos, the more you guys are sharing the videos, the more these videos are getting out there, the bigger our subscriber base is growing. Uh, you know, the more ad revenue we're earning, the more sponsorship revenue we're earning. And, uh, you know, I'm putting that revenue right back into the show, trying to produce uh, for you guys the highest quality uh, real estate education out there on the market. So uh, with that said, why, why you're sitting there, why you're watching it, man, if you're finding value in what we're doing here on Holton Wise TV, hit the like button, hit the share button. All right. Let uh, YouTube's algorithm know you're finding value here on Holton Wise TV so uh, we can get the message out. Message gets out further. I bring in more revenue. I'm going to pump it right back into the show. Hopefully, I can produce for you guys an even better show. And uh, today's show, I think today's show is going to be pretty cool. Uh, today's show is for my guy. His name is Tim. Tim, you are from Palm Beach, Florida. Tim, you're watching this right now. Anybody else who's watching this, Tim watched this about two months ago, right? I sent this to Tim in a private link. That's what we do here on the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I find properties based on uh, your criteria. I send it to you privately. Uh, we do or do not do the deal depending on what goes down. Um, and then when the deal is no longer available, I release it publicly for everyone else to learn. Uh, Tim, you got a pretty cool story. I kind of, I kind of liked it. Uh, what's, what, what I liked about what you're doing is you've done some investing before. Now you're looking to invest here in Cleveland and you're not necessarily, um, you, you you're kind of wide open, right? You kind of left me some uh, leeway here, right? You have currently uh, at your disposal $100,000 cash. You make a ton of money uh, at your day job. You got a very um, prestigious day job. So money's not an issue. You want to start right now to start. You've got this 100 k and you just want to use that as a down payment. So you can buy about $400,000 worth of real estate right now. And uh, you're not really concerned about the budget, right? So long as we don't uh, blow past that $100,000 worth of real estate. Um, and it's pretty much, you know, impossible to do that in the Cleveland market, right? Like you're not going to find a, a duplex, a triplex, or a quad, or a single family rental property that's more than 400000 in the Cleveland market. So more or less, we've got uh, no budget to work with. And uh, if this all works well, you want to just start adding two or three properties to your portfolio every year. So uh, you're not cash strapped in any way. So that's nice. It's nice to work with that. What you want to do is just build your portfolio. You're interested in possibly uh, diversifying a little bit, being in a couple different asset classes. But what what it uh, the take that I the takeaway that I got from everything you've told me uh, in your emails to me telling me your story is you want to start with high quality. You're not concerned about you know the price point or the specific return. You want to buy the very best long-term investments, high-quality stuff. I mean, you don't, like, a lot of you guys out there are like, ah, cash flow, 50 bucks a door, 100 bucks a door. Like, you know, Tim, with the money you're making at your day job, right? Like, you know, I don't think if a property cash flows $100 a month versus cash flows $65 a month, like, you don't give a fuck about that. Was well, like 35 bucks, right? Because it's an irrelevant sum of money. 
you're looking for something high quality. You want to put your money to work. You want to have something that you can sell down the road. It's going to retain its value, possibly grow in value. You want an easy ownership experience. Uh, you want it to be smooth between your relationship with you, you know you and uh, us here at Holton Wise. You know, with the tenants, you want smooth experience. You want high quality stuff. So I like all that. I love when investors uh, buy that stuff because the investors that uh, constantly chase those paper returns. Uh, lower and lower and lower in asset class. You know, those are the guys, you know, they run into problems. Like, anybody who's watched the Tennis from Hell show, uh, if you haven't, fucking do that now because it's awesome. Uh, we show you the most crazy shit that happens, right? I've had uh, people set cars on fire uh, at my apartment building. I've had somebody try to set my personal home on fire. Couches getting thrown out third-story windows. Uh, people killing themselves. People killing each other. Uh, people pooping on stuff, just, you know, the craziest shit uh, that you guys could ever imagine human beings can do. Uh, we document all that in the Tennis from Hell show. So I'll put a couple shows in the show notes below. If, if you guys definitely want to check that out. But, uh, Tim, the two properties that I've identified for you today, I don't foresee you doing any uh, – yeah, I don't foresee, you know, your properties appearing on my Tennis from Hell show because these are pretty high-quality properties. Now – one of these is a little bit better than the other one. Uh, normally when I do these shows, I usually lead off with the uh, the hot property, the better property. Because um, if, if both of these are available, I definitely think it's clear which one you should choose. Uh, we're going to do that one second. Uh, normally I do that one first, but then I noticed all you bastards uh, out there screwing up my... Uh, my retention metrics with YouTube's algorithm because you're looking at the better property than you're clicking off the show. Well, fuck you guys. Uh, I outsmarted you. Uh, we're going to do that one second. So if you want to see the better property, you're going to have to stick around and watch the show. Um, but here's the deal, right? Uh, Tim, and you're very aware of this. Sometimes, you know, these properties out, out there on the open market, there's like 5,000 other realtors. Everyone's looking at Cleveland. Cleveland's one of the most popular rental markets in the country. It's very possible in the time period it takes for me filming this, telling you about this right now, to the video going through post-production and Tommy editing it and us launching it and sending it to you, uh, that the property could get snatched. So even though the first property isn't the better property uh, of the two, it's still adequate. It's still a good property. Uh, and, you know, not every property you're going to buy is going to be the biggest home run, right? Like, the second property definitely is the, the better one. So if, if both of these are available and you can only choose to buy one, I would buy the second one. But if uh, you have the funds and you, it, it appears that you definitely have the funds to take both of these down, I would probably buy them both. Or if the second one's gone, there's nothing wrong with buying the first one. So with all that said, Tim, let's uh, get into the first one here. It is... Ch -ch -ch one, two, nine, two, Hathaway Ave, Lakewood, Ohio. Lakewood is a gnarly area. Lakewood is super high end, right? If you check the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods, I've graded that officially as a B, but the further west you go, it actually becomes more or less an A. Pulling up the map view, okay? You'll see here that this property is, as soon as this thing... Is this thing going to load any better? Hold on. Let me go down a little bit. Well, my internet isn't loading this up as big as I'd like it. Uh, but this is the property right here. Up here, hard to tell right now, but that is actually Lake Erie. Okay? That's Lake Erie. So what I'm trying to highlight for you, if my computer would um, cooperate with me, is that this property, the locale of this property, is very, very good. You're in the trendy areas, right? You know, this is where people want to be, okay? Here we go. Now we are having it cooperate, right? Lake Erie, man. You are you are right by Lake Erie. So what we have here, we have something that's like in super high demand. People are choosing to live in this area, in this neighborhood, because they want to be close to the action. There's a lot of, like, nightlife, bars, shopping, cool stuff, Lake Erie. It's a destination area. Like, uh, like old Brooklyn. I like old Brooklyn a lot. That is a pretty cool cash flow neighborhood. But just so you know, that's a cash flow neighborhood, right? Like, people don't go live in old Brooklyn because they, like, have this childhood dream of renting a duplex from some landlord in California or Florida. 
uh, that's having Holtmeister manage it. Like, that's not their childhood dream, right? Uh, people rent there because it's affordable, right? It's what they can afford. Uh, whereas what we have here, right, this is like a destination location. Um, so people that, uh, you know, have the wherewithal to live pretty much anywhere they want in this market, you know, they're choosing uh, to live here. So that's very, very good for you because you get high quality tenants. We don't have any riffraff. Like I said, uh, you know, you buy this property or the next property, I don't think you're going to end up on the Tennis from Hell show. Now, let's uh, let's take a look, see what we got here. Okay. <clears throat> You know, nice looking exterior, right? Let's just go through the photos. Okay. We got, uh, now, this is pretty nice, right? You see, it's all pretty nice. Like, this is very, you know, you know, well taken care of. This is looking pretty good. Okay. We're going to start to see some clutter here. All right. But it's like nothing you should be afraid of. Um, I actually think it's going to be good for you based on how I, I see this investment going. Kitchen, you know, it's adequate. Nothing super great, but nothing terrible. A um, lot of stuff on the wall, okay, all these things. You know, sometimes you get landlords that freak out. You know, they think, oh, nail hole, nail hole, nail hole, nail hole, blah, 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 blah. With this, this right here, all the stuff on the wall and a lot of this clutter, what that stuff tells me, okay, is we've got a tenant who is committed to this space. This isn't like a transient tenant. This isn't a tenant who's planning on moving out anytime soon, right? Got their furniture on the porch. Okay. <clears throat> and like this, like you see all this stuff, like this is just a lot of stuff, right? Like this, this person, like, I mean, don't get me wrong. This like doesn't look super appealing and nobody gets excited about that, but you actually should because, you know, these are, theoretically highly qualified folks they've been living there according to the listing agent for quite a while and it by all intents and purposes it doesn't appear that they like have any desire to move i mean why would they it's a very desirable neighborhood um you know it's it's probably where they want to live and that's it's very important right because here is the deal the property okay it's listed by the way it's listed uh the broker is uh somebody called uh realty professionals uh, it's listed for $200,000, okay? Here is the rent roll. One of those units, four beds, one bath. It's rented at eight seventy-five dollars a month. The other unit is two beds, one bath. It's rented at eight hundred dollars a month. So that's going to be $1,675 a month coming in or $20,100 a year. Now, we're going to run the cash flow numbers, and this is actually going to come out cash flow negative, okay? But don't freak out. I don't think that these tenants are planning on moving out. It doesn't, you know, appear to me to like what I see, right, from a real estate investor's perspective. I see two tenants that uh, have lived there a long time and don't plan on moving out anytime soon. And uh, the rents are very below market, right? Like eight seventy five for that four bed, one bath, that's low. We should easily be renting that thing for twelve fifty. The two one, right? The downstairs unit, 800, we should be able to get that up to 900, no problem. So we should really be bringing in uh, 2,150 a month. So we, we, we have room to increase those rents up, $475 a month. But let's just run the numbers so you see where you're at right now. Uh, and, you know, no repairs, right, because it's occupied. Okay, <clears throat> so if we're bringing in 1675 a month, you know, there's things we need to account for, right? Repairs and maintenance, I want to factor in 83 bucks a month for that. Now, that doesn't mean, like, you do repairs every every month of 83 bucks. What that means is, like, there's, like, zero, 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 zero. Then it's, like, a furnace service call or, like, nothing happens for a year or two, and then a tenant turns over and we do, like, a turnover. Um so you have to just account for that. You got to budget for that. So we're going to budget nine ninety six a year. Same thing with your vacancy and your non payment of rent. In the rental business, right? At some point, people are not going to pay. You'll have to do an eviction. Now, if you choose a high quality asset like this, your evictions are going to be few and far between. Um, like at Holton Wise, like we have thousands of tenants. I've done many, many evictions. On average, we do like five to ten evictions a month. And like 95% of those evictions are C-class or lower. Uh, very, very rare do we evict folks uh, out of units like this, right? Like when you're screening tenants in neighborhoods like this, man, you know, we see credit scores above 700. We see college degrees. Uh, you know, you even see like dual incomes. Like these are folks that pay their bills, right? So like there's really no funky business to, to worry about, but we're still going to factor it in. 996 a year. Uh, capital expenditures, that's things like your roof, furnace, hot water tanks. Like a big old duplex like this, man, it's probably going to be like, uh, I don't know, like a six, $7,000 roof, okay? And it's going to last you about 30 years, right? 
And that, that, that's all the time. Like, there's no roof you could buy that's going to last you forever. So, like, every 30 years, like clockwork, you know, you're going to have to spend that six, seven grand. So, you have to factor that in now. Your furnaces, you got two furnaces in this property. You got to factor in that you're going to replace those uh, about the same as, as a roof. You know, they will last typically longer than a roof, but I, I like to call it about 30 years. Now, I've seen like 50, 60 year old furnaces still kicking. Uh, but I think 30 years is fair. And those cost about $3,000 to replace. And then you got hot water tanks, right? Those are cheaper. Those are only 1000 bucks to replace. But you got to replace those about every 15 years. So these are things that you're going to have to pay for when you buy rental properties. And, uh, Tim, you, you, you know this. You've already invested in properties. But I just want to make sure I get it out there, especially for everybody else that's watching your video. So, you know, we're going to factor in 996 for those repairs, for the vacancy, and those CapEx uh, items. Um as far as the taxes go, uh, 5135 I know, I know. The taxes are kind of high. That's, you know, there's pros and cons to everything, guys. The Cleveland market, our prices are very low. Our rents are very high. But, you know, our taxes are high. 5135 And Lakewood specifically, the suburb of Lakewood. Well, actually, both. Th this property's in Lakewood. And the one I said that's even better, that's in Cleveland Heights. Those are two of the highest uh, taxed suburbs we have here in the Cleveland market. But go figure, they're also two of the nicest, right? So, you know, higher taxes, yeah, it sucks, but guess what? That tax money, it's being paid for city services to make it a destination point, which is why you can increase these rents up 475 a month, right? Like if uh, a building very similar to this was in old Brooklyn, your taxes are lower, but dude, your rent's cut in half, right? And the quality of your tenants is woo, way lower than this. So, you know, there's give or take, pros and cons of everything, right? So moving on from that, insurance uh, should cost about a hundred bucks a month. In the show notes, I got a link to my insurance company, uh, the Hogue Insurance Agency. I am a partner in that. My associate, Kevin Hogue, he runs the day-to-day. -day. He runs that business for us. Uh, you know, we created that insurance company for investors, right? Uh, we're working through Farmer, a farmer's agency, but we're able to sell you third-party stuff like of various other uh, providers, right? So our whole thing is, uh, you know, selling pro insurance to landlords, right? Like we're not trying to insure like homeowners uh, for their family homes or auto policies. Like we're not going after that business. Uh, we're investors and we know what investors are looking for. And we saw an opportunity, obviously, uh, because of all the real estate we sell and manage. Investors needed to talk to insurance agents that uh, knew the type of policies that they wanted. Like, you don't want to waste time talking to some asshole who's trying to convince you to get this rider or that rider, and you know none of it matters. Like, I, you know, I've seen these guys trying to sell, like, personal property riders. It's a fucking rental property. You don't have any personal property there. So when you talk to Kevin, uh, he knows, you know, you're an investor. You care about the ROI. So it should be roughly 100 bucks a month for us to insure this, but you'll have to click the, the show notes to have Kevin give you an actual bid. Uh, but that's pretty close. Water sewer, that's that's tough to estimate, but it should be about 150 a month on average. Some tenants are going to take longer showers than others, but, uh, you know, I've run thousands of tenants. More or less, that's that's what you can anticipate, about 150 a month. Lawn care, in Cleveland, we got to cut your grass roughly 16 times a year. We charge about 33 bucks a cut, so it's going to be 528 for the year. You average that out over the monthly cost. It's going to be uh, 44 And then your property management fee, uh, should be 167 a month, and then the cool thing is you get a break. Like when you increase those rents, like 1250, right? The one unit should be 1250. We don't charge you 125. We cap it at 100 bucks a unit. So obviously, you know, the nicer property you get, the nicer tenants you get. The nicer the tenants are, the easier they are for Holton Wise. So we're able to give you a discount on a percentage basis because the lower the rent is, you know, the harder it is, the more work my team has to do. Right? That's just the way the game works. So with our rents exactly how they are. At 875 at 800, which we know is way under market, we should be bringing in 1675 a month under market. But we're going to spend 1,138 a month on average. Not every month's going to be the same, guys. If you're like expecting to buy a rental property and you you expect this to happen every single month, you're in the wrong business, man. That's not how <laughs> real estate works. Like I said, a lot of these things you're you're planning for the future, so a lot of this money's really coming in your pocket now. But you don't want to blow it because eventually you will need to spend it. Keep that stuff for the rainy day. But what you could expect in free cash flow from this is 537 that's 6445 that's a good you know that, that's some good cash flow for an incredibly passive investment and you just buy the property do nothing right but you wanted uh, to get a loan most likely right you said you you want to do loans you definitely want to do a loan on your first one um because, you know, it makes the most sense now if we do a loan it, it it can turn out to be cash flow negative I'll show you what's up 
So 200K is our investment. Our NOI is 537 a month. That is a low cap. It's only 3.2, but that's using these old numbers. Now, do this loan. Your down payment, 50000 So that means, you know, you have that 100 k you, you have another 50 k right now. You could buy the second property. So, like I said, if you can only buy one of these two, I'd probably buy the second one. But I really think you should buy both of them because they're both nice. So you'll have a $150,000 mortgage. So that would lead you a mortgage payment of 760 a month. And uh, just so you know, for everybody doing this at home, man, if you, you guys could do your own numbers at home, okay? You go to homewise.com, property search. All right, let's just go back. Proper. I'm sorry, I was thinking of something else. Holtonwise.com, you go to Tools and Resources, rather. Okay, and then you go down to the Mortgage Calculator. All right, and we can pump this in. So, what is it, 150000 is our mortgage over 30 years because I got lenders that will write you guys 30-year loans on these. If you guys need access to my lenders, just send me an email, jameswise at holtonwise.com, and I'll get you that list. So, right here. You know, full amortization schedule for you. You see how much of it goes towards your principal, how much of it goes towards your interest. For those that are, like, super new to the game, just so you know, a lot of the pr uh, the principal is very, very low at the beginning. The interests are high. Like, the first seven years of the loan, the bank is making the majority of their money. But if you go all the way to the end of your loan, like the last payment here, of that 760, 757 is all principal. So you're only paying 284 in interest. Uh, so anytime you guys are transacting real estate, just so you know, if you're, you're paying all these closing costs to get these loans uh, and you're trading these properties in the first seven years, you're not really uh, benefiting from principal pay down. And when you're buying like super high end stuff like this, principal pay down is one of the big things because um, there's not necessarily going to be a lot of free cash flow when you get these big old mortgages. Uh, but what you have is you have the ability to have these tenants pay down these mortgages for you. Like you're borrowing 150 k here, and you're not going to pay any of that off yourself. The tenants are going to pay the whole thing off for you. I mean, like, yeah, $760 mortgage payment. 757 of that is all principal. So even if you went, you know, broke even that month, you didn't get any cash flow. I know a lot of people are like, oh, no cash flow, no cash flow. I need my $50 a door. I need my $100 a door. Bro. That's not really that big a deal when we're talking about high quality real estate because seven hundred. If you broke even, you actually still made seven hundred fifty-seven dollars, dude. Seven hundred fifty dollars is going back in your pocket in the form of equity. Like that is debt that you owe that you paid off with their money. So keep that in mind. Uh, but back to the chart, right? <clears throat> so with that seven hundred sixty dollar mortgage payment, current uh, with the current low market value rents, dude, that is a a negative cash flow, no return here, negative 223 a month or negative $2,676 a year, okay? But I still think you should buy this asset because this is a quality asset. And I know, right, I know for a fact that raising those rents will not be difficult, okay? 875 and 800. 875 for a four bedroom in this neighborhood is ridiculously low. And those tenants know that. And those tenants don't look like they're moving out. You could easily get those rents up too. Like I said uh, earlier, I believe I said it earlier if I didn't. 1250 for the four bed, 900 for the two bed. That's 2150 a month or an increase of 475 a month. So once you got those rents up to where they should be, this property would actually, with a mortgage, be cash flowing two fifty to a month. Not to mention, you'll have those tenants pay off that whole hundred fifty thousand dollars. So you're going to earn six percent on your cash, get all that uh, principal pay down, and of course, you get the tax benefits, right? Depreciation and, and tax sheltering. Uh, so for a dude like you, Tim, uh, who you've got a ton of money coming in from your day job, right? You want to try to lower. Uh, that taxable income. So that's why I chose this property. I thought this one was pretty badass, and I think you should definitely make an offer on it. And, uh, you know, if you'd like me and my personal uh, team of admins and assistants to handle it for you, we would love to do that. Just send me an email, jameswise at holtonwise.com, and I'll be working solely for you. I'll be a pure buyer's agent. I don't have any relation to this seller, right? The only reason I'm looking at this property is because I was searching for you, and I thought it would make sense for you. So, uh, you know, Sometimes if you if you read some of my reviews, right, like if you read Holton Wise reviews, we only have like three kind of reviews. Uh, there's reviews um, that say, man, 
I love the investing. I love the knowledge we got from the show. James, you did great. I love working with the sales team. That's one kind of review. Another review is from tenants we've evicted or we've told them no, and they're pissed off, and they're like, ah, Holton Wise, you guys are assholes. You kicked us out of our apartment, blah, 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 blah. And then uh, the third kind of review we get is James Wise is an asshole. Uh, you'll see that a lot, okay? And uh, it's because when I, when I do this business, man, I'm not like uh, one of those realtors that wants to be friends with all the other realtors. I understand that other realtors are, are not my friends. Um, you know, my job is to represent my clients, and I take that very seriously. I negotiate like a motherfucker. I'm a bulldog out there. So, uh, you know, you'll see that. Some uh, folks who are on, they're on the other end of the table working uh, against me, right? Because I'm working for you, Tim, and they're working for their seller. They're trying to get the most money. I'm trying to get you the best deal. Uh, so, you know. I take that very seriously, and I, I love that part of the game. I actually enjoy the negotiation. So uh, if you utilize my services to purchase this property, uh, know that I'm going to be out there battling for you, man. Um, but you don't have to. That's totally cool. Uh, this is an a la carte product, though, right? I just want to give you the information. You've paid for the information, so you could take the information do with it what you will. If you want to go directly to that listing agent, that's totally cool. I understand there's some benefits to that. Like uh, the listing agent, they don't have to split commission with a guy like me, right? So they'll, if a couple offers came in and they're uh, similar, right, the listing agent, like if you put in an offer, Tim, and some other uh, buyer put in an offer, but this other buyer has got 3% of the commission going to his agent, and I'm the listing agent, or you know, the listing agent's just looking at that, and they're both equal. Well, of course, the listing agent's going to want the one where they make the most money uh, coming in. But you don't have someone fighting, um, fighting for you. So, like when we do things like we go through the inspection, you don't have somebody like fighting uh, to make sure you get the best possible deal. So, your call on that. Uh, let's go to a quick commercial break, and then we are going to get into the second property, which I think is even better than this one. High Return Real Estate is a true turnkey machine in Indianapolis, Indiana. This company was built for investors by investors. We buy, rehab, inspect, tenant, and sell stabilized turnkey real estate to investors with complete transparency on every step of the process. Every property we sell comes with a third-party inspection, both before and after the rehab, along with a six-month warranty on all major system renovations and our exclusive in-house property management team that has one goal in mind, provide our clients with high return real estate. For more information, subscribe to our mailing list in the show notes below or visit us online at highreturnrealestate.com. Holton Wise has a worldwide audience of real estate investors. If you are a lender, home inspector, or anyone else with a real estate related business who would like to increase your sales and exposure with an ad in one of our videos, go to holtonwise.com today. All right, Tim, welcome back, man. Let's, uh, well, before we get into the second property, which is way more awesome, I want to thank everybody out there who's still here viewing the show. Uh, thank you. My, uh, my algorithm is going to appreciate, you know, the Google, the YouTube, or whatever you want to call it, the YouTube algorithm uh, is going to appreciate you guys still watching the video. And uh, I'm going to rank higher in the search rankings, which means, again, more income comes in here, and I'm able to put it back into the show to hopefully provide you guys uh, with more, uh, a better product. And, of course, this is a free product for all to watch. So uh, if you're still here and you haven't done it yet, hit the like button. Leave a comment. Let me know if you like the show. Let me know if you don't like the show. If you think I'm an asshole, let me know. If you think it's great, let me know. Uh, share it, share it, you know, there's, you know, I'm sure you got friends out there who want to invest in real estate, share it and just interact with the video. So, uh, you know, we hit the, we hit the algorithm, you know, people know the algorithm knows that the values there do that favor for me. And if the first time you watch one of my shows, man, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Cause we're, we're doing a lot of good stuff here. Uh, but back to you, Tim, your the second property, dude, this one is good. This is an awesome deal, bro. This deal is great. It's uh, going to check all the boxes for you, and it's going to make you some money. Um, 3124 Edge Hill Road, Cleveland Heights, 44118. This is a duplex, and one thing I want to tell you about this duplex that I really like. Uh, great neighborhood, 
great rents. It's been updated. Lots of things have happened to this duplex, but on top of all that, this is a side-by-side, -side and it's huge. Uh, pulling the chart on the screen here. Each unit, 4-2. The rent on one of them, 1,040. The rent on the other, 1,550. So we're bringing in 2590 a month, 31,080 a year. And the reason that the rents are so high is A, nice neighborhood. B, uh, large units, four beds, two baths. And C, possibly one of my most favorite things. This is a side-by-side -side duplex, right? All things being considered, if you have the opportunity to buy two equivalent duplexes, right, and one's up down, whereas the other's side by side, you got to go side by side. That is the better product. Whenever people are above people or below people, you get more noise complaints. People dislike their neighbors more. You know, they're they're literally on top of each other. Like literally, they are. One person is literally living on top of the other one. Whereas with a side by side duplex, that doesn't happen. Uh, so I cannot like you know, on a one-to-one -one basis, like, guarantee you that, like, this Edge Hill property is going to have the tenants stay longer than the, uh, what was the other one, the Hathaway property in Lakewood there. But, like, over the course of, a, you know, the long term, if you have, like, 10 side-by-side -side duplexes versus 10 up-down duplexes, you're going to see the tenants at the side-by-side -duple side duplexes tend to stay longer uh, because they don't have people literally living on top of them. So I, I love that. Let's take a look at the photos now. Okay, look at this. This kitchen, dude, that's a beautiful high-end kitchen. That's why you're bringing in so much money in rent. Nice, uh, was that subway tile backsplash? Looks to be quartz counters. Nice cabinetry. Uh, you got the dishwasher. Now, I know a lot of you guys watch my content out there, and uh, usually I say, like, let's remove dishwashers. You got to understand that's more or less when you're, like, dealing with, like, a C-class asset. Like, what we have here, this is, like, super high quality. Like, a tenant paying you $1,550 a month is dramatically different. They lead a dramatically different lifestyle than a tenant who's paying like six fifty a month in rent, guys. So having this dishwasher, that's a great feature. Um, and it's you know, just very, very nice. Nice stainless steel stuff there. Everything looks good. Beautiful, beautiful hardwoods. Obviously, I don't like that color. Of course, you'd want to replace that with a neutral color uh, at a turnover. But, you know, it doesn't really matter right now. Renovated bathroom. Everything looks modern. Everything looks new. Okay. These floors not as nice, but, you know, it's fine. Obviously, when these folks eventually move out, there'll be some turnover work. Um, let's read <coughs> what they got going on here. Let's see exactly what the agent, and this was listed by a guy from uh, Berkshire Hathaway. Rare opportunity to own a beautiful side-by-side -side duplex in Cleveland Heights, located in walking distance to Lee Road, Coventry Road, uh, Zagaris Marketplace, Kane Park, and a short drive to Case Western Reserve University, John Carroll University, University Circle, and downtown Cleveland. is currently 100% tenant occupied. Both leases end in September and will not be renewed, which makes a perfect opportunity to owner occupy or rent at market rate to add to your investment portfolio. So the current owner right now, you know, they're saying that they don't necessarily have a commitment from those tenants. That does not necessarily mean those tenants won't stay. And as far as it being an opportunity, it could be um, because 1550, right? That's like that's like top of your market. So like if you got that, you'd really want to get that tenant to stay. Uh, if the other tenant moved out, they're only paying 1,040, so we could technically get that up to 1550 as well. So that could be good. Um, what I would do, taking this over, I would want to reach out to these tenants and see if we can get them both to renew because you're still getting great rent. You're making great money right now. You don't want to go through a turnover, but the units are in such nice condition. A turnover is very, very minor, dude. I mean, we already have like beautifully upgraded stuff. So I guess I agree uh, with the agent that the fact that they don't have anything committed to right now uh, could be a good thing, but I would still uh, urge you to uh, have us attempt to get them to stay so we don't have uh, turnovers as soon as you take it over. Uh, let's see here. Uh, completely remodeled kitchen, new countertops, 2016, backsplash 2017, cabinetry was put in 2016, appliance 2016, full bathroom upstairs has been remodeled with uh, two new vanities, 2017, shower 2017, flooring 2017, fresh paint throughout this unit, and the basement has a new washer dryer 2018, the other unit has a new stove 2017, washer dryer 2014, and has been well maintained by its long-term tenant of five years. Each unit has a separate basement and completely separate living areas. The only shared portion is a rear porch slash patio, which is what you want, man. You don't, like, necessarily want these tenants 
uh, you know, getting all into each other, right? You want them to have as much separation as possible. In the, in the basement, man, that's great. The basements aren't living area here in the Cleveland market. Like all these old homes like this, they're usually unfinished and they're just to house your furnace, hot water tank, and your laundry. Uh, but, uh, you know, when you have duplexes, like uptown duplexes, man, tenants fight over the laundry, dude. Like the one tenant will have their laundry over here. The other tenant will have their laundry over here. You know, it's not uncommon. Like you have like C-class tenants that like, Somebody will steal somebody's detergent or, or this or that. or I mean, dude, I've, I've been through it all. Uh, you know, like I said, man, Tennis from Hell. I don't know if I actually made... Tom, did we make an episode of Tennis from Hell about the uh, the tenant that was stealing the panties of the upstairs tenant, the guy that lived downstairs, and he was stealing the other girl, the girl's panties? I don't believe so. Okay, well, you guys are going to have to stay tuned for that. Uh, I gotta, oh yeah, we gotta, we gotta do that one, man. We had this duplex guy downstairs. Uh, he was a panty thief, so you know you're gonna run into all kinds of stuff, right? But not here, right? Not here because totally separate. They can't get in. Um, so I really, really like that. Uh, so let's go into the numbers on this thing. Using the current rents we've got right now, because again, you know, we haven't got a commitment from these tenants that they're gonna stay, but we don't 100% know they're gonna move out. Twenty-five ninety a month in rent, uh, so thirty-one thousand eighty a year. Repairs, vacancy, capex, gotta gotta account for all that. One twenty nine each or fifteen forty eight. Put that in your pocket. Uh, you know, taxes. Like I mentioned, Lakewood high taxes. This this one, Cleveland Heights also high taxes. Fifty two eighty three, or four forty a month. Insurance. We should be able to insure that for about a hundred bucks a month. Again, show notes below. Contact Kevin for a more uh, exact figure, but should be about a hundred bucks a month. Water sewer. Estimating that at 150 a month, long care 44 p.m. You get a break on the p.m. right? Because uh, anything over a thousand bucks, we cap it at 100. So even though you're bringing in 2590, you know that extra 590, there's no 59 dollar charge on that. You're just paying the the flat 200, right? So <clears throat> good, you know, normal month. 2590 comes in, 1321 goes out, leaves you with an NOI 1269. That's a good return, man. That's a lot of money to make passively. That is 15,000. 225 uh, a year on average. And if you uh, want to go ahead and get a loan on this bad boy, just before I get to that, as you see on the chart, cap rate 6.9, much higher than the previous property. And then if you do the financing thing, uh, again, quickly, guys, right here, the uh, mortgage calculator on HoltonWise.com, uh, you'll be able to see what goes to principal, what goes to interest. So definitely utilize that tool. It is free for you. HoltonWise.com, Tools, Resources, Mortgage Calculator. The down payment, Fifty-four thousand nine seventy-five. It's going to leave you the hundred sixty-four thousand nine hundred twenty-five dollar uh, mortgage, which amounts to a payment of eight thirty-five a month. So after you uh, pay for all your expenses, save for your gotchas, save for your capital expenditures, pay your mortgage payment. You're still going to have four thirty-four to put in your pocket every month, or fifty-two oh five a year. That's a return of nine point five percent on your cash. Not to mention. Uh, all the tax benefits, high income earner like yourself, you need those tax benefits, you need the depreciation, and you're getting that 164000 lent to you, and you're having super low-key high-end tenants paying that off for you. So I think it's fairly clear that of these two properties, this one here in Cleveland Heights is the better property, uh, but they're both good, and I think they would both be uh, a great start to your portfolio. You know, you said you wanted to come in here and you want to start with low risk. These are two very low risk properties that you want to hold for the long haul. You know, you're not going to be battling uh, for your money. This is just smooth stuff. Focus on your day job. Focus on your career. Let your money work passively for you. Um, one other thing I wanted to mention uh, <clears throat> about this particular property. This is in Cleveland Heights. Cleveland Heights is what's called a point of sale. Um, that means whenever a seller sells a property in Cleveland Heights, the city comes in and they inspect the property and they issue violations. And the seller, by law, has to clear those violations before they're allowed to transfer title or the buyer can choose to assume it and then the city wants escrow money up front. So like, say there's like uh, $10,000 repairs, the, the city's going to hold your money to, to make you then spend different money to handle the repairs. And then once those are completed, they'll then give you your money, right? They do that to ensure that you're going to handle the repairs because um, that's the whole point. They're trying to keep the values high. They're trying to keep the quality of properties high in these neighborhoods. Now, 
the listing agent, they had stated that they've ordered the POS, so they have not had the POS inspection yet. The price point they're looking for, they're trying to get $219,900 out of this property. I do think that's a fair price. Uh, if you were to, to make an offer on this property, I would say we'd come in close to that. I'd, I'd want to probably be start maybe like around 205, maybe 210. But what I would ask them is that they clear the POS for you. Uh, you're paying a high price, and I don't think the POS would be very, uh, very big considering how nice this property is. So keep that in mind that we have that POS to negotiate, and we don't have all of the information. It's not like I can tell you it's a $2,000 POS or a $10,000 POS because at this time the seller hasn't uh, completed that. Uh, but I think we definitely want to put that on them to go ahead and get that cleared off for you. The Lakewood property, that is the cheaper property. That was only 200000 No POS to worry about. Uh, they used to have POS in Lakewood, but uh, there's actually a, a fair amount of uh, folks suing um, local cities in Cleveland uh, because they're stating that the POS was unconstitutional uh, because of like search and seizure. Uh, you know, the city's going into your, your houses. So the POS regulations are changing here in the Cleveland market. They're changing pretty rapidly. Like, I think it was like six to ten months ago, Lakewood got rid of them altogether. Some cities went from interior and exterior to exterior only. Um, so bear that in mind. But at the moment, the one in Cleveland Heights, you're still subject to that POS. But, you know, that could be to your advantage because we're going to try to get that seller to clear that for you. So that could be a couple uh, things that, you know, they repair for you that I'm not even thinking about to make the property even nicer. So, Tim... Uh, those are the properties I chose for you today. I thought that they hit all the boxes. I really hope that uh, the properties I chose for you um, takes you in the direction that you wanted me to take you. Like I said, if you want to make an offer, uh, I would love to represent you. If you want to speak with the listing agents directly, that's totally cool. Um, I understand. Uh, if one of these gets snatched, uh, I think, you know, like if, if the first one gets snatched, like if the, the nicer one, the, the one in Cleveland Heights, the Edge Hill one, if that gets snatched, I still think Hathaway would be a great property. I'd probably want to start the bidding there around like 190, maybe 185. Uh, see where we go. And uh, why I got you here, Tim, one other thing I want to show you. If you go to uh, HoltonMice.com, you click on the Property Search for Sale tab. Um, this is newer, so I don't know if you've seen this yet. Uh, this, is a, this is a newer product. If you go down, well, first, you know, there's the Investment Property for Sale show. That's my show. So for anybody who's uh, subscribed here on YouTube, uh, we actually email this show to you guys, uh, that show to you guys every single day at 1 o'clock. Um, so if you click that, you can subscribe to that mailing list. Um, and those are all the properties I'm selling that come with full video tours uh, in, a, in a big old breakdown. Um, but, you know, because uh, you know, I am the number one seller of rentals in Cleveland, you know, I typically get 20, 30 offers on all my properties. So if I get 30 offers on a duplex, that means 29 you can't actually buy it. So what you guys are doing is you're putting me to work because there's 5,000 other realtors out here in Cleveland, guys. So I don't have to be the guy selling the property. I will work for you, and I will find you stuff. And you could uh, just have me give you the information, and then you can go to the listing agent, or you can have me represent you. And that's kind of what I want to talk about here. So that's you know that's what we're doing right now. That's the MLS Search and Analysis Show. Tim gave me his criteria. I went out, and I found it. You know These are listed by two realtors, two different realtors. I don't know the sellers. I only am here for Tim. Um, but you know they're on the open market, so sometimes... You know, there's there's a lot of competition when you got nice properties. Uh, so what I did, I created a new product, and it's a very cheap product. I created these real-time MLS feeds, and these are great. So you got the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods. I'm sure you're familiar. If anybody out there watching this isn't familiar, Google that. I uh, categorized uh, all the neighborhoods in Cleveland, A class, B class, C class, D class, F class, right? A's got the least risk. F has the most risk. So, you know, people are like, oh, should I buy this? Should I buy that? Or is this a good neighborhood? Is that a good neighborhood? I don't like to answer questions like that because like, good for me could be different for good for you or good for what you want to do, right? So what I like to do is I like to present to you guys exactly the type of experience you could expect. And then from there, depending on what your risk tolerance is, you could figure out what type of investing you want to do, what's going to be good for you. So 
what I did is I've given you guys my direct MLS access. This means you don't have to go to Zillow or Realtor.com, websites to get the data from brokers like myself, from the MLS that I am a part of. They get that data and it's sent to their site, but that, that is slow. It's probably a few days, if not a week behind. With this, you get my direct MLS access. So the moment that I know that a property's hit the market or a price has changed. You get that data in real time. It will send you an email in real time. So if it's 4 p.m. and a new property hits the market, you will have that email at 4.01 p.m. the fastest possible. So everybody else that's out there that is like re relying on Realtor.com or Zillow or Trulia or whatever websites are out there, they are probably going to be three, four, five days behind. You've already looked at the property, know what you want. You've already ordered analysis, and we're already trying to get you in there before them, trying to get your money into the good deals because the good deals, they get snatched up immediately. And then all the other deals, the scraps, that's what everyone's got to fight over. The product, it's cheap. It's $29.99. That's a one-time fee, not an annual fee, not a monthly fee. One-time fee, so long as you open the email, I think it's every 60 days. At least once every 60 days, uh, that's going to go on forever. If you don't open your emails for 60 days, it's going to automatically turn off, and then you got to buy another one if you want it. And I broke them all down into our single families, our small multi, so our two to four units. That's multifamily. It's still going to qualify for 30-year financing. And then, of course, I got the big stuff, the apartment buildings. I broke them down into those three categories for every single asset class. So figure out what your risk tolerance is. Figure out what you want. I'm not going to be like, yo, B-class single families are great. C-class duplexes suck. It depends what your goals are, what you want to do. For Tim, I think high-end stuff worked for him. But I might, you know, in a couple hours, I might do the next analysis product, and it's for a guy that wants a duplex that's under 50 grand. Obviously, Tim's two duplexes don't fit the bill there. So based on the needs of that investor, you know, what's good is something totally different. So you guys figure out what you want, and then I will send you that data the moment it becomes available, already pre-sorted, so you don't have to spend five, six, seven hundred dollars on an MLS search analysis show because you thought a duplex was a C-class duplex because that's what you wanted, only for me to deny your property telling you, oh, that's actually an F-class property. Why waste all that money? You click on these, you get these. I sent them to you. I've already pre-sorted them. I've already placed them in those categories. So if you're a guy that wants C-class duplexes, you're only going to get C-class duplexes. Uh, so that's a great product. Again, just wrapping things up, Tim. Um, if you want us to make an offer on these properties, you want us to write your offer, we'd be more than happy. Just send us an email, jameswise at holtonwise.com. You'll get access to myself and my personal team of assistants. Uh, we will handle the negotiations, schedule inspections, schedule appraisals. Again, I even have lenders. If, if you don't have a particular lender or you don't like your lender's rate, uh, you can get quotes from my lenders as well. Um, I'll be able to handle all that for you. Or you can go directly to the listing agent. You've already paid, paid me for this information. So if you just want to use my services on an a la carte basis, get the lowdown and then use the knowledge you now have to, to negotiate the deal yourself or negotiate the deal directly with the listing agent, that's totally cool, man. We are a pay-to-play system here at Holton Wise. That's all I've got for you, Tim. One more time, everybody. If this is the first time you've ever watched one of our shows on Holton Wise TV, smash that subscribe button. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's two hundred sixty thousand dollar houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holton Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all fifty states. This deal is one hundred percent James Wise approved. James Wise denied. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. For property managers, you get advanced features like simplified owner distributions, automated management and placement fees, an owner portal, plus the software is certified for trust accounting. All this comes backed by the highest rated customer support team in the industry. 
Certified by third parties and ranked number one by our clients year over year, you get unlimited free access to our US-based support team by phone, email, and chat, who will help you getting started or anywhere along the way. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video just like this one to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from health. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.